Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I am talking about the Netflix animated series, The Dragon Prince. And the voice actors in it are um, Jack um, DeSena, who plays Co Colum. He, he plays the mage. Um, you got Saucer Rohan, who plays um, Ezrin. And he, he has a little pet, little pet glow frog named Bait. And you have um, Paula Burrows, who plays Rayla. And she plays a, sh um, 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 a moon shadow elf. You have um, Luke Rodrique, who played King Harrow's, um, uh, and he, he's, the, he's the king. And you have um, Jason Simpson, who plays Verin, who plays the king's advisor, and he's also a mage. And you have his, you have his two children, um, Jessica, who plays, um, voiced by Jessica, and Kola, she plays Surin. I mean, that's, that's the son, I mean, Jesse, I mean, Jesse Surin, he plays um, Surin, he plays the son, he's a soldier. And you have uh, um, Raquel um, Momonte, and she plays um, Claudia. And she plays as um, his, his daughter, and she, she's uh, she's also too a, a mage. And you have um, Jonathan Holmes, who plays Ronan. He plays the leader of the um, the, um of the of the Moon Shadow Elves, and uh, and also he's an assassin, leader of the assassin group as well too. Now in the, in this in this in this whole series here, you have these three main characters. You have Cullum, er Erzin, and Ryla. Now Ryla is from, uh, from the, the, the Moon Shadow. Elves, and she's also an assassin, and she had a job to kill somebody, but she doesn't have the heart. When she saw the face and saw the fear in his eyes, she started, she started to realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't do this. And it forces her to try to, and because of this failure, she tries to prove herself throughout this whole entire series, but through the, through the process, she learns a better way, and she becomes friends with the people who she was sent to kill. Which is um, Colum and Erzin. And they go on this journey together because a long time ago, the Gorn messed up. You had the humans and you had the elves. And so they had a, they had a fight between them. And they were, separate, they were fighting. And their country was separated. The humans on one side and the, and the elves on one side where they had all the magic. And they had a dragon keeping them from fighting. Keeping them from coming across. Well, a mage on the human side decided to fight the dragon and kill the dragon. And then he supposed to have killed, uh, destroyed the the, 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 um, the, um, the dragon's um, egg, which is the dragon prince. And so the conflict and the war st starting up again. And it's up to these three kids to like, not only fix the problem, but also they found out that the egg was never destroyed. It was just hidden. So now they can return the egg to the rightful place and, and so, the, so the war between the humans and the elves will finally end, and then there will be, and then, then there, there will be peace. Overall, I would like to say I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this whole entire series. The animation from the start is just fantastic. It's beautiful to look at. I mean, it's just stunning. The action is great. The fight choreography within the, within the scenes is done quite well. Um, it also has humor to it as well too. I mean, it's a little silly and a little goofy, but it makes you. It made me laugh a couple times, and I, I really didn't enjoy that because it breaks up the darkness a little bit too. Because it can, it can be a little bit dark at times. And there are some sweet emotional scenes in there too, and you also see the like, character growth, which I, I really do enjoy. Like you have, because you have um, you have Ryla and you have Calum who. Started off on opposite sides. I mean, Ryla did try to kill him, but through the process, Ryla learns a better way and how to become a better person, and Kyle learns how to trust her and bring her in, which helps make them become friends, which is quite beautiful to watch. It doesn't feel forced, it doesn't feel like it's like pushed at you, it actually feels like it happens naturally. And so, and the story is told quite well, and I enjoyed the story as well, too. And the main characters who you follow the most of the time, I, I like them as well. So uh, everything is fantastic. Yes, you do have your bad guy in here too. And you actually see him going in that direction. But overall, it's great. Now, on, on, the only problems I had with it was the ending felt a little bit up, abrupt. Because when it went, cause when, at, the, at the end, I said, oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All right. And then there's one scene with the king. Something happens with the king, and I, but it happens off screen, so you don't really get to see it, and sort of just, it was kind of weird. But other than that, I enjoyed this whole series a whole lot, a whole lot of fun. It's fun for the whole entire family. Kids can enjoy this. Adults can enjoy this too. Which is great. So you can watch it along with something like with your children, and and also have a great time, and also laugh along with it too. So, 
leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this on the series of the, the Dragon Prince. And if you haven't watched it, just check it out for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's, it's done quite well. And hopefully you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. Because I sure did. So, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up. Shaboo! And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples. Thank <laughs> you.